Good morning, everyone. The program is about to start. May I request to all the participants to please turn off your mic and camera during the talk of our speakers to ensure smooth and clear session. You may only turn on your mic and camera whenever advised by the facilitator or by the speaker. Thank you. Again, good morning. Welcome to the third session of San Pascual Senior High School 1 Virtual Career Guidance Orientation of Grade 12 Learners in Curriculum Exits with the theme, Guiding Learners to a Sound Career Choice and a New Normal. Yes, it is the third and last session of our Career Guidance Orientation. Previously, we had an engaging and very informative talk from our partners in DOLE, DPI and TESDA as part of tertiary education and middle level skills orientation. Today, we are going to have another set of speakers to give more ideas related to tertiary education. But before anything else, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our participants in our extension links. So we have extension link for ABM under the supervision of Ma'am Hazel Akyatan, for TVL under Ma'am Lichelle Reyes. For UMS, we have Ma'am Ana Rose Orias and for STEM, Ma'am Connie De Villia. So for those students in the extension link, if you will have questions and clarifications you would like to ask, you may tell it to the teacher in charge in your extension link for they will be the one to address it to our speaker. Okay, Paul, so I think everything is set. To formally start this program, May I call on Mrs. Rea Rose Castillo for the opening prayer. Hello, good morning. Naririnig po ako, sir? Yes po, ma'am. Okay, let us put ourselves in the holy presence of our Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and Heavenly Father, we praise and glorify you. Thank you for the gift of life that you bestowed on each one of us. Thank you for making this activity possible. We humbly express our gratitude to your provisions for the time and expertise of our resource speakers, for the access of our students to whom this is intended, for the strength and motivation of the individuals behind, and for its success which we are already claiming. Lord, as we conduct this career expo, may you lead the way for our students to make decisions calmly and with faith. May they be blessed with courageous heart to choose the path towards your plan, no matter how difficult and challenging our situation is. Lord God, please bless our students with wisdom especially those facing tough choices and hard situations. Send them your Holy Spirit that they may be able to discern your plans and your ways. We are asking that even through this simple activity, we will be able to provide them a wider horizon of what lies ahead. May your word and your will be their guide in every decision they will make concerning their career. May this move to help our students offer happiness and fulfillment to us teachers, their second parents, and to our stakeholders and partners as we sense the feeling of being your instrument towards our students' success. All this we pray through your Son, Jesus, who reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay po, so to official welcome us in this virtual career orientation, let us all welcome our dearest Principal 2, Dr. Maureen C. De Claro for her opening remarks.
Okay po, so nagkaroon daw po ng uh, power interruption kina Doc Yeyet. Uh, balikan na lang po natin si Ma'am Yeyet mamaya kapag uh, naging okay na po ang kanyang connection. Okay po, so siguro we can start already the talk. So at this point, may I call on Ms. Julie Fe M. Kusi, Teacher 2, for the introduction of the speaker. Thank you, Sir Will. Good morning po. Our guest speaker is the Chief Administrative Officer of the Commission on Higher Education, Region 4A, Calabarzon. Let us all welcome Dr. Freddy B. Balawan. Good morning po, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that introduction. And uh, a pleasant morning to one and all. At the outset, I would like to thank the organizers for invited to be one of the presenters in this event, the lives of the graduating senior high school students. In the same way, I express my gratitude to the principal of San Pascual Senior High School for the Rear Expo and also to the guidance counselor who believe the lead person in this event. My talk will focus on the policies and guidelines scholarship programs, priority courses for scholarship, and other scholarship programs that the Commission is offering to deserving graduating students of senior high school. Next slide, please. Okay, so as I was saying a while back, we focus on the policies and guidelines for scholarship programs or what we call CSP or the Shared Scholarship Program or Merit Scholarship Program that is being offered by the Commission on Higher Education. Now, CM on a series of 19, 2019 says that pursuant to Shared and Bank Resolution number 263 does 20 dated April 30, 2019, in relation to Section 8 of Republic Act Number 7722, otherwise known as Higher Education Act of 1999, as well as Sections 1 and 2 of Article 14 of the 1987 Constitution, these are the guidelines for shared scholar programs. Okay. As regards to this hope and coverage, the CHED scholarship programs are accessible to qualified and deserving Filipino students, preferably those belonging to a special group of persons as the underprivileged and homeless citizens under RA-7279, PWDs under RA number 7277, solo parents and or dependents under RA 8972, senior students under RA 8994, and indigenous people under RA 8371. A qualified student may be awarded full scholarship or half scholarship under the state scholarship and private education financial assistance. When we speak of state scholarship, this is being availed by those students who are enrolled in the state, state colleges and universities and local universities and college. Private education student financial assistance, what we call the PESFA, it is being given those students who are enrolled in the private education. It's also intended for entering first students who are eligible for college whose general weighted average or the GWA is at least 90 and its equivalent, who must enroll in recognized priority programs in private HCIs, state universities, and colleges. The application period shall start March 1 to May 31 of every academic year. Nonetheless, for this year and even last year, we do not have yet call for it. It's because the money intended for the scholarship program is being diverted to COVID-19. But this year, 
the, the Commission on Higher Education is contemplating to provide these slots for next school year, academic year 2021-2022. Who are eligible or what are, who are eligible those students who are enrolled in college or incoming freshmen and what the eligibility requirements? One is Philippine citizen, second is graduating senior high school, third is the unwelcome of parents or guy, guy that exceed 400,000 pesos per year. And the fourth is identification cards or the PDs, solo parents, senior citizen, and their privilege alike. For the documentary requirements, we have certified true copy of birth certificate. For academic, we have school report card for senior high school graduates, a certified true copy of grades for grade 11 and first semester of grade 12. For financial, you may submit any of the following. One is the income tax return of your parent guardian, certification, certificate of indigency, case study report from WD, and contract or proof of income for children of OFWs. Let's move on to priority courses. Okay. As per C number five series of 2019, the CSP or the CHED shall likewise prioritize courses aligned with global innovation, platforms of science, technology, engineering, agri-fisheries, and mathematics, or what we call this, as well as priority, priorities of the government, growth areas such as semiconductor, and electronics, business process, outsourcing, tourism, general and other prior, priority manufacturing industries in the ground of scholarships. Let's move on to the list of priority courses aligned with global innovation, platforms of science, technology, engineering, agri-fisheries, and mathematics. Under science, we have physics or applied physics, biochemistry, biology, botany, chemistry, metrology, doctor of dental medicine, criminology, forensic science, industrial security, geology, human biology, biology and biotechnology, marine biology, marine science, environmental science, disaster risk management, climate change, and zoology. For technology, we have civil technology, mechatronics engineering technology, electronics technology, mechanical technology, electrical, industrial engineering technology, cyber security, information technology, computer science, information system, library and information science, entertainment and multi automotive technology, aviation technology. For engineering, we have agriculture and buying, architecture, ceramic engineering, chemical and civil engineering, computer engineering, electrical engineering, electronics engineering, engineering, electronics and communications engineering, geodetic engineering, industrial engineering, manufacturing or production engineering, engineering, materials engineering, marine transportation, mechanical engineering, mechatronics engineering, metallurgical engineering, engineering petroleum engineering, robotics engineering, sanitary engineering, structural engineering. For agriculture, we have agriculture technology, agriculture and its hybrid programs, 
agroforestry, animal husbandry, animal science, doctor of veterinary medicine, fishery, food technology or science, forestry, and horticulture. For mathematics, we have statistics, applied statistics, mathematics, and applied mathematics. Other priority courses have business administration with specialization or major in business analytics, business administration, specialization, major talk in business source, hospitality or hotel and restaurant management, and the tourism or travel management. The next is the Universal Asset Research Education Act, or what we call the UFAS, which is under RA10931. The coverage of scholarship program is intended for all Filipino students who are either currently old at the time of the effectivity of the act, or should enroll at any time thereafter in courses leading to a bachelor's degree in NSUC or state universities and colleges and LUD or local universities and colleges shall be exempted from paying tuition and other school fees for units enrolled in. Second, the students will be eligible to these benefits provided they qualify under the admission and retention requirements of the SOCs. And the third is Sux and look simulate and implement a return service system for students benefiting from the free higher education provision of the act as part of their admission and retention policies. Such guidelines will be approved by the respective governing boards and the Commission on Higher Education. The student with voluntary, voluntary contribution mechanism also looks at to create a mechanism to enable students with the fine capacity to pay for their education to voluntarily contribute a particular finance to the SUC or look while themselves of higher education provision. Second should, should be made during enrollment period. Students can change their job in subsequent term or semester. Students who will up the higher education provision sign and submit voluntary condition form to the state universities or colleges or local universities and colleges in which enrolled. The SUC or LOC shall develop a performa contribution form which shall be realized by the institution and which has the fund information. One is a statement certified is cognizant or aware of the the act and the second is amount of contribution and then third is academic period then fourth is signature of student gun if error and last is certification or acceptance of vice counselor or registrar Next is the exempt to the free higher education. We have SUCs and LOCs, students who have already obtained a bachelor's degree or comparable and under degree from any public or private higher education institution. The second is students who fail to comply with the admission and all retention policies of the SUCs or LOCs provided. That the failure to comply with the SUC or LOCs retention policies results in a student's permanent disqualification from enrolling in any so or look. Next is students who fail to complete their bachelor's degree or comparable undergraduate degree within a year after the period prescribed in the program, provided that in the case of shift is any semester wherein the student has availed of the benefits of free higher education will be subtracted from the expected duration of the current program in which a student or student is enrolled. Provided further, 
but in the case of transfer is any semester where in the student has availed of any form of government funded is to fund from the expected duration of the current program um, in which the student is enrolled. Next is provided for that in the case of returns and other on eve of absence, the determination and compute their free higher education benefit shall be without prejudice to the most expedient way of completing the studies. Provided finally, the looks and looks shall decide on the cases that merit extension of the availment of higher education any students who voluntarily opt out of the free higher education provision. And next is students who are not eligible to avail of the free higher education provision shall be charged and other school fees as determined by the governing boards of the SOCs and LOCs. Okay, what are the benefits? Okay, all students of the of free higher education provision shall be entitled free tuition for all courses, subjects, classes holding during a particular semester term as part of the curriculum and are essential to obtaining a degree. This includes approved petition tests but not credit within their tutorial or review class, no review and enhancement classes offered by the education institute. Miscellaneous other school fees and similar fees, which include library fees, compute laboratory fees, school ID fees, athletic fees, admission fees, document fees, guidance fees, handbook fees, entrance registration fees, medical and dental, as well as cultural fees. Okay. Let's move on to the next, that is tertiary education subsidy slide, because that was already mentioned a while back. Okay, we have the tertiary education subsidy or the TES, as we used to term it, with TES for tuition and other school fee, private higher education, you will be given 1,000 pesos. For TES2, Education-related expenses like book supplies, transportation, and miscellaneous personal expenses. And TES3, this is divided in two. We have the three students with disabilities, or PWDs, as I mentioned while back, and the 3B students requiring a program, professionalized certification. You are entitled of 10,000 pesos. After you have obtained your degree, you apply first examination and you will 10,000 pesos. Okay, let's move on to the next. Qualifications. As I magnified a while back, a qualified student must be a Filipino citizen, must be enrolled in his first undergraduate post-secondary program be enrolled and qualify under exam admission and retention requirements of the education institutions. Okay, for studentization, we have ongoing ESG beneficiaries, continuing TS student grantees, students enrolled private higher education located in municipalities or cities, no soup or no and then students who are part of households included in list 2.0 and then students who are not part of the list 2.0 but qualify when ranked according to the estimated per capita household income documentary requirements where assessment fees and certificate of residency for assessment fees of the certificate of registration with the total number of units earned. In this aspect, you are not qualified if you will enroll below 15 units. And for identification cards, this holds true to those 
PWD stating that you belong to such group. Okay, next slide is how are you going to apply? Okay, the TES focal partial encode or register the information of the individual applicant. Please coordinate with your tertiary education subsidy focal person or persons of your desired institution or school. Let's move on to the next, which is also known as this TDP, tertiary subsidy. Account for the grant must be a Filipino citizen with a combined house gross income that does not exceed 400,000 pesos per annum and must be qualified as one of the following. One is ongoing grantee of Tunong program. The second is new TDP TES grantee. This TDP TES TDP is a financial benefit grant 15,000 pesos for one academic year that is 7,005 per year. To apply students must have an accomplished TTS application form together with supporting documents directly to the concerned Pedro. Check with these documents and prepare the list of qualified applicants per HCIs. <clears throat> How are you going to apply? TSTDP, we have application for the Tulong Dono program is facilitated in by the congressional districts and partly applied in your congressional district, we will forward the of applicants as at the CEDRO and process application. And the second is how can you receive the funds? The disbursement through the grantee. So directly it will be given to grantee. Or sometimes we do also um, directly pay it to the higher education institution to fact the processing of the doc being submitted by places as well as the HEI. For the documentary requirements, we have certificate of operation and report cards for qualified incoming freshman students, copy of grades for college students who has earned units in care programs, and also or PPT passer for other applicants. <coughs> for income requirements, any of the following, same as the other scholarship programs that I mentioned while back, late income or work for children of OFWs, case study from DSWD, income tax return, certificate of tax exemption. Okay, thank you. Okay, are there questions or clarifications? I'll declare it an open for room. Okay po, good morning po sa ating mga participants, sa ating mga students. Uh, meron po ba tayo mga question? Dito sa main link at saka pati dun sa ating mga extension link. Pwede po natin i-chat sa ating chat box para po ma-address sa ating speaker. Thank you po. Uh, meron po ba tayong question from ABM, Ma'am Hazel Akyatan? Okay po, from TVL. Ma'am Lichelle? Sir, so far po yung wala po. Okay po, wala pong question. Siguro po ay clear from TVL Group. From Yums po, Ma'am Anna Rose Orias. Meron po ba tayong question dyan? Okay po, wala daw pong question from EBM. Clear din po. Uh, sa Yums po kaya, meron po ba tayong question? Okay po, we also have STEM. Meron po ba tayong question? Parang ang STEM po yata ay nandito sa ating main link. Meron po ba tayong question? Okay, clear din daw po sa Yung. So, wala din daw pong question. Ma'am Connie, for STEM. 
ay yan, may question daw po dito from Errol De Juan from STEM. Maaari din po ba maging grantee ng scholarship if not part ng priority course? Okay, so thank you for that question. For the CHED scholarship program or the merit, definitely it will not be considered. However, for the Tulong Dunong, any course that you may wish to venture on provided the program is being recognized by the CHED, you are considered as grantee. Okay, so meron pa rin palang uh, scholarship na pwede nating ibigay for those na hindi part ng priority courses. Okay po. Next, uh, some other questions po kaya? Meron pa po ba? Wala nang katanungan. Okay, so I think, uh, Doc, parang wala na pong question. Meron pa po bang hahabol? Okay po. So I think there will be no other questions na po. So at this point po, may I request everyone for our photo op with uh, Dr. Freddy Balawan, kindly open your camera po para po sa isang photo op with Dr. Freddy Balawan. Okay po, paki-open po ng ating camera. Okay po, meron pa po ba tayo siyang makakapag-open? Okay. So, give your best smile in 3, 2, 1. Okay po, another one. Ay, ako pala yung di naka-open. Sorry po. <laughs> so, ulit, ulit. <laughs> okay, yan. Naka-open. Bet bakit di mag-turn? Ayan. Okay pa Ulit po tayo. So, give your best smile in 3, 2, 1. Smile! Okay, another one po para po sa ating unus, uno sign. Okay. Uno sign po tayo. Okay, give your best smile in 3, 2, 1. Smile! Okay, thank you very much po. And uh, for the awarding of certificate of recognition to our speaker, uh, may I call on Miss Grace Ilagan? Hello, po. Good morning. Certificate of appreciation. This award is presented to Dr. Freddy B. Balawan in grateful acknowledgement of his expertise as resource person during the SPSHS1 Virtual Career Guidance Orientation for Grade 12 Learners on Curriculum Exits with the theme, Guiding Learners to a Sound Career Choice in the New Normal, conduct conducted by San Pascual Senior High School 1 on June 2, 2021, given this second day of June 2021 via Google Meet, signed by Maureen C. De Claro, Principal 2. Okay po, once again, thank you very much, Dr. Freddy B. Balawan from CHED Scholarship, um, who discussed CHED Scholarship Offerings. Okay po, uh, from Commission on Higher Education, Region 4A, Calabarzon. Again, thank you very much. Thank you too for inviting us. Okay po, thank you very much po. And uh, at this point po, I... Uh, Okay na po ang connection ulit ng ating principal. So let us all welcome Dr. Maureen C. De Claro for her message. Thank you po. Thank you, Sir Will. Napatawa naman ako doon. 
Good morning. Good morning po sa ating lahat. Kasi po talagang tamang-tama po kanina ay uh, nawalan po kami ng connection. So, kaya po dapat ay uh, maya-maya po tayo ay uh, ano, dire-direcho. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen of San Pascual Senior High School 1, a very happy Wednesday morning to all of us. How are you today? So, sana ay uh, lahat tayo ay nasa mabuti talaga yan. I'm praying for that. I have found some uh, inspiring, very inspiring, motivating quotes that shall accompany you on your journey towards achievement. And this time, I am choosing this. Success is for those who are willing to take an extra step. I'm hoping that all of us here are ready for another milestone in our exploration stage, wherein our teachers headed by Mom Mary Chris with the Teen Career Expo are giving you the reason why we have our third day of our exposition via Google Meet. We have extended it because of the willingness of the institution to give you the utmost help to decide on your choice. You have to choose if you wanted to enter higher education or join the workforce. We are very blessed for having equally competent speakers from different academe and will be properly introduced later. And we have one, Dr. Freddy. Maraming salamat po for contributing our young minds the information that they need. Mula po sa aming puso, ang pasasalamat. Maraming salamat po ulit. As I keep on telling you, our dear vanguards, this time is different. Setting your mind in this time of pandemic is an extraordinary thing. It was a challenging experience to all of us because of the phenomenon of the COVID-19 pandemic. But again, we should, not, we should not be stopped by these challenges. For this day, another step has to look forward towards success in an ordinary way. Take the challenges, embrace the process, and explore your talents. Let us continue to dream big, do great, and soar high. Hanggang sa muli, patuloy po tayong mag-ingat. Okay po, thank you very much, Ma'am Yeyet, for that message. And at this point, as part of tertiary education orientation, let us all welcome the representatives from Golden Gate Colleges, Batangas. Okay po, so habang nagsaset up ang Golden Gate Colleges, uh, siguro we can now proceed to watching of recorded video of Centro Escolar University. Hi future Escolarians, my name is Maria Cristina Licodine, but you can call me Ate Tin. Together with me is Ate Mika and Ate Elaine, and we're from Centro Escolar University or CEU. I'm so sure that most of you are familiar with our school, right? For those who are not, don't worry because we're here today to share with you some important information that you need to know about our school. So to give you guys a little glimpse about our school, we're going to play for our video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our video. Hi, future Escolarians. My name is Maria Cristina Licodine, but you can call me Ate Tin. Together with me is Ate Mika and Ate Elaine, and we are from Centro Escolar University or CEU. I'm so sure that most of you are familiar with our school, right? For those who are not, don't worry because we are here today to share with you some important information that you need to know about our school. So to give you guys a little glimpse about our school, we're going to play for our video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our video. Welcome to Centro Escolar University. One of the Philippines' top universities since 1907. 
situated right next to the country's seat of power and at the center of Philippine finance and business is CEU in the cities of Manila and Makati, an institution where history and tradition, culture, and the arts, science, and virtue come together to give you a unique, challenging, but exciting learning experience.
just to give you a brief background, CEU was founded on June 3, 1907 as the Centro Escolar de Señoritas by the two women visionaries. They are Lebrada Abilino and Carmen Duluna. It was started as an older school. However, by the year 1960s, it became co-educational or co-ed, meaning it accepts males. So up until now, we are co-educational or co-ed. We have four campuses. The main campus is located in Minjola, Manila, near the Malacanang Palace. We have campuses in Makati, one in Ilpuyat and the other one in Seligasio Village. We also have a campus in Malolos, Bulacan. And lastly, our extension campus, the Centro Escolar Las Piñas, located in Pilar Village, Las Piñas City. So again, we have campuses in Manila, Makati, Bulacan, and Las Piñas. Here are citations, awards, and recognitions our school has received. So CEU Manila, Makati, and Malolos were granted full autonomous status from the Commission on Higher Education. Autonomous status is one of the highest recognitions a private higher education institutions can receive from CHED. Manila, Makati, and Malolos campuses are ISO 9001-2015 certified. This was awarded by the SGS. This means that we are consistent in delivering quality services across campuses following international standards. CEU is, a, uh, CEU is also a papal award, the Pro Ecclesia A Pontificia. This was given by the Roman Catholic Church for the university's outstanding contributions and service for the Pope and for the Church. CEU Manila acquired institutional accreditation status, certified by the PAAP. This award was given to the university for being one of the higher education institutions to have the most number of level three and four accredited peruvians. Manila and Malolos campuses are PQA recipients. This was given by the Philippine government. PQA is given to the organizations in the private and public sectors that excel in quality, productivity, and business performance. The university's dentistry, pharmacy, biology, business administration, international hospitality management, international tourism and travel management, nursing, nutrition and dietetics, optometry and psychology programs are all certified by the AUNQA. So CEU offers 50 program and essentially we are known for health professional program or allied health and science programs, specifically dentistry. We are known in this field because we have consistently produced board tap nature. So as a matter of fact, in the December 2019 dentistry licensure exam, CEU Makati dentistry students rank 10th place. Aside from dentistry, we also have pharmacy. We have a ladderized pharmacy program, which means you can finish a pharmacy degree in four years five years or six years. We are the first school to offer a ladder race program and CEU is one of the top performing schools for August 2019 pharmacist licensure exam. Medical technology. We are the first school to receive the highest level of accreditation, level four accredited status by PAOP. Also CEU has been recognized as one of the top performing schools in March 2019 medical technology licensure exam. We also have nursing. So we are AUNQA certified and level three status accredited by PAASCU. In June 2019, nurse licensure examination, CEU Manila and Malolos got 100% passing rate, while CEU Makati got 96% passing rate. Doctor of Optometry. We have the highest level of accreditation level four by PAOP. In the recent board uh, exam, we got five places or top notchers. We got, fir we got the first place, third, sixth, seventh, and ninth place. Biology with 21 optional education cor courses that will make the graduate capable to pursue a career in teaching and take licensure exam for teachers. Biology with specialization in microbiology. We also have computer engineering. The, uh, the program is equipped with skills needed in animation, robotics, and game development. It has a partnership with recognized industry companies such as IBM Business Partner, Amazon Web Services Academy, Cisco Networking Academy, Oracle Academy, and Microsoft School. This program is offered in Manila campus only. Computer Science, we incorporated additional subjects in the curriculum to produce graduates that are ready for the Cisco Certified Network Associate Certification and CompTIA Cloud Certification. Just like the Computer Engineering uh, Program, Computer Science Program also has a partnership with recognized companies such as IBM Business Partner, Amazon Web Services Academy, Cisco Networking Academy, Oracle Academy, and Microsoft School. This program is offered in Manila and Makati campuses. Cosmetic Science. CE is the first to offer a BS and MS Cosmetic Science program in the Philippines. Information Technology. This program prepares students to be technology professionals through various training that lead to achieving Cisco 
Certified Network Associate, and Certified Information System Security Professional. Psychology with 15 units of education. Students who will graduate with 15 units of education can pursue a career in teaching and take licensure exam for teachers. Aside from health uh, science courses, we also have non-science. First on the list is the accountancy program. May could be completed in four years in two summer terms. One semester is dedicated to review and updating of six subjects, including the CPA board exam. We also have business administration major in management, marketing management, and financial management. May be completed in three years and two summer terms. Management accounting, it is a four-year program. Legal management, it is a three-year degree program. And it is only offered in Makati campus. Business, business administration major in management with specialization track in service management and business process outsourcing. It is a four-year program and it is only offered in Malolos campus. Nutrition and dietetics. We have 90% passing average in the licensure exam for nutritionist dietitian for the past three years. And we are also top performing school for August 2019 nutritionist dietitian licensure exam. International Hospitality Management, International Tourism and Travel Management. We also, er, we also have Early Childhood Education, Special Needs Education, Secondary Education major in English, Math and Science, Library Information Science, Communication and Media with 21 units of education, Political Science with 21 units of education, Music Education, Music Composition, music performance, social work. We also offer Doctor of Medicine in our Manila campus. And lastly, in our Makati campus, we offer Juris Doctor program. So to give us, uh, to tell us more about CEU, here's Ate Elaine. Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Ate Elaine. I'm also a marketing assistant of CEU and I'm gonna be discussing our mode of learning. But before that, here are some of our achievements. First, C Street Squad landed second runner-up in the 38th Southeast Asian Games 2019 Dance as One Street Dance Competition for all-male category. And for two years straight, the CA Women's Volleyball Team retained its championship title for the WNCAA Seniors Division Competition. And next, our very own Janine Pontejos won the gold medal in the 3 on -tree basketball against Thailand in the 30th Southeast Asian Games last December 2019. And Janine is also one of the Gilas Filipinas team. Lastly, Alondra Marie Santo Domingo, a political student, political science student, and Joshua Flores, a social work student, were both accepted in this year's Collaborative Online International Learning or COIL program of the University Mobility in Asia and the Pacific, or UMAP, and the Institute for Global Education of Kansai University. So for our mode of learning, with the safety and health of our students as our priority, the university opened the new school year adopting the flexible learning approach, and we're doing both synchronous and asynchronous classes. In CEU, we have the CEU LIPS or CEU Learning Engagement and Proficiency System. This is the official learning platform that we are using and this is more commonly known as Canvas, in which you would see all your subjects, lessons, assignments, quizzes, and even your exam are uploaded here and it's very easy to navigate. Aside from that, we also launched the CEU Engage program with the goal of maintaining a sense of community among students, faculty, and staff through online activities while studying and working from home. We're also doing a block system for our classes in which our semester is divided into four blocks or five weeks per block with two to three subjects in each block to avoid overwhelming our students with workload. For example, in the first block, the students will be completing three of their subjects, and at the end of the first block, they will already have the, their final grades for those subjects. Then the next set of subjects will be given on the second and third and fourth block. So for our, for our scholarship offerings, first we have regular entrance scholarship under academic. This is for the rank 1 to 5 of your batch with tuition and miscellaneous fee discount ranging from 100 to 50% for one school year. We also have upgraded scholarship for program for excellent performance or USPEP. This is for the batch valedictorian and salutatorian who will take a degree program with licensure exam. Privileges include 100% discount on tuition and miscellaneous fees plus monthly stipend for one school year. Then we also have under cultural scholarship, 150%, a 50% discount on tuition fee per semester for students who will become a member of CE Singers, 
concert band, folk dance troupe, and street, and street squad. And for the pep squad and varsity members, 25 to 100% discount on tuition and miscellaneous fees per semester. Under entrance grants, we have Republic Act 6728, DOST Scholarship, Unifast, and PES, which are all government-funded. Then we also have alumni discount. If your parents is a CEU graduate or if you have siblings currently enrolled in CEU, you will be given a 5% discount on tuition fee every semester. We also have 2021 incentive program with 50% discount on tuition fee. For scholarship application, just visit our website and click the scholarship tab or this link, www.ce.edu.ph slash scholarships and fill out the application form. Once we receive your application and verified, it will be forwarded to the Dean's Office or Program Head for recommending approval and for e-signature. Then a Registrar's Office will inform you through email if the application and requirements submitted are found insufficient or on hold and also if it's approved. For our admission procedures, here's Ate Mika. Okay, so hi students, I'm Ate Mika and I'm also a Marketing Assistant from Centro Escolar University. So for our admissions, we started our application period last October and it will be ongoing until July of next year. So you just have to visit our website, it's www.ceu.edu.ph and fill out the online application form and attach the requirements as well. The requirements are first, your grade 11 certificate of grades or report card. Next is your PSA birth certificate. Next is an ID picture and lastly, the proof of payment for the 300 pesos application fee. So for the next school year, there will be no entrance examination. Again, only an application fee of 300 pesos. Here are the uniforms our students wear in school. But for the meantime, since we are implementing online classes, we are not required to buy them first. So you just have to wear proper attire during your virtual classes. So here is our uniform for our science program. For our non-science program. And lastly, for our hospitality management program. In the future, if you have questions for us, don't worry because we have a lot of ways for you to reach us. First among them is our help desk page. So if you're interested to enroll in our Manila campus, you may email directly our admissions office at this email address and our accounting office at this email address if you have concerns regarding school fees or enrollment procedures as well. So CE Lift and ICT support, these are for those who are already um, enrolled in our university. So we also have help desk for our Makati campus. So you may email any of them. And lastly, for our Malolos help desk. So don't worry, you may also find our help desk page at our website. Again, it's www.ceu.edu.ph. We also have our social networking sites. You may follow us on Facebook. Just search the CEO official. We are also on Twitter. And we are also on Instagram and on YouTube, CEO official as well. And lastly, uh, feel free to join our future Escolarians Viber community. So you may scan this QR code and you will be redirected to our Viber community. So we will be keeping you posted on the ongoings of our university and you may also send in your questions or concerns through this platform. In behalf of CEU Manila, Makati, Malolos, and Las Piñas, we thank you for giving us your time and opportunity to introduce our university to you. So in these trying times, it is important that education and engagement continues. Congratulations in advance on your graduation and we hope to see you in CEU soon. Thank you. Okay po, so that is Centro Escolar University from Ma Manila and Makati. Okay po, so I think okay na po ang GGC. Let us all welcome the representatives from Golden Gate Colleges, Batangas.
good morning everyone. Ma'am to the school principal po, si Ma'am De Claro, to Ma'am Mary Criscomilla, the senior high school coordinator. We are from Golden Gate Colleges from the career guidance today. Actually po, may moderator po to to take charge. Hindi pa lang po makapasok. So, to all of you, my dear teachers, na ang karamihan ay narito sa, sa Golden Gate pumapaso. Thank you so much. Here he is, our moderator, Mr. Patrick Sanchez. Take it away, sir. Um, can you hear me, po? Yes. Okay. So thank you. Anyway, um, good morning once again. I am Mr. Patrick Sanchez, uh, and um, I am uh, with Golden Gate Colleges. Uh, so um, Golden Gate Colleges welcomes you and uh, thanks you for allowing you uh, allowing us to uh, present our school through uh, this particular virtual career guidance. Okay, so uh, at any rate, in order for you to give or to, to get an idea of what the institution is and uh, some of the, uh, the functions of the institution, here's a video presentation of uh, GGC. the best version of yourself mold your knowledge and abilities be competitive see this and global at golden gate colleges golden gate colleges achieve all of your dreams leading you to progress golden gate colleges education for you and me at GGC, our future is here. Be a part of our growing community. Showcase yourself and who's what you can be. We got you a fruit till you reach the top. Aim higher and higher and together we will let you Okay, so that was um, the GGC jingle. And um, this time, in order for us to uh, better understand the offerings of uh, Golden Gate Colleges, so um, I'll be turning you over to um, our first presenter, Dr. Esperanza Lusanta. But, um, uh, oh, by the way, before we do so, um, allow me to once again play a quick video in order for you to get an idea of what the College of Teacher Education is. We envision a department 
Post graduates contribute to the advancement of knowledge and worthwhile values that can respond to the current needs of learners. Be competitive locally and globally. Golden Gate College's College of Teacher Education offers students and educators eclectic program to strengthen and broaden knowledge and values through quality instruction, research, training, and community service. College of Teacher Education's utmost priority is to sharpen the knowledge, the skills, the character that future educators may apply in the teaching field responding to the current needs of the 21st century learners. An academic discipline of fostering human learning growth and development in a productive, democratic, and nurturing environment in the service of people had produced thousands of professional educators who are teaching in different public and private institutions. Okay, so this time I'll be turning you over to the Dean of the College of Teacher Education and the, uh, concurrently the Dean of the Graduate Studies, Dr. Esperanza Losanta. Good morning once again to Ma'am De Claro, Ma'am Kumia, all the senior high school teachers. Nang karamihan dyan ay naging friend ko na. Senior high school students and parents, a pleasant morning to all of us. As the Dean, welcome to the College of Teacher Education Department. Kasama na rin po ang graduate school. CTE was formerly attached to the College of Business Administration, known as SEBA. But when I assumed my post last July 1, 2019, it was changed to College of Teacher Education. As would-be CTE students, my dear senior high school students, by the way, congratulations in advance to your upcoming graduation. You will have lots of opportunities to experience in the world of teaching. From the admin to the dean to the faculty members, you know where to go for help to enable you to finish your teaching career and even beyond. Golden Gate Colleges is considered a pioneer leading institution for teachers. Kasi po, ito ay since 1948 pa. Bakit po? We have competent, dedicated, and qualified faculty members. Consistent producer of professional teacher graduates and administrators occupying major positions in the Department of Education. We have highly involved students in academic and co-curricular activities. We also offer teacher education units for second degree courses. Ito po yung mga graduates ng nursing, engineering, BS psychology, and other courses who opted to take teaching as their second career or option. In addition, it also has the graduate school program, the thesis and non-thesis program, offering doctor of education and partnership with the national university. Senior high school students, we are offering the BE Ed and BS Ed programs. Yung BE Ed po, Bachelor of Elementary Education. BS Ed, Bachelor of Science in Education, major in English, Mathematics, Social Studies, Filipino, Science and Values Education. I'm going to give you samples of successful graduates na kilalang-kilala nating lahat. 
Dr. Donato G. Bueno, former SDS of Batangas City and Batangas Province. Dr. Armujenes Panganiban, now the SDS of Lucena City, na pa-assigned din po sa province. Dr. Jopi Palquesa, ASDS of Batangas City, na napa-assigned din sa inyo sa Batangas Province. And we also have Dr. Arnold Ventura, the ASDS of the Division of Palawan. Your dean and a lot of our PSDSS and school heads in the city division and the province had their graduate stu studies here on the other hand. As a department, you will be treated as member of the family. Students, you can uh, consult me at the office anytime, kahit personal man, nakakaranas po ako nung ganon. Try and explore new things, meet lots of acquaintances, and hone your strengths as future teachers. It is academically preparing you not just to be a mentor, but a dedicated, responsible, and committed teacher with a heart, hand, and head that cares. My dear students, examples po ang inyong mga committed teachers na dito nag-aaral taking their master's degree in Golden Gate Colleges. You will be under the tutelage of professional, capable, and competent faculty members who really can hone your teaching competence to the utmost. And if you may ask, mag-start na po kami ng enrollment for new freshmen last May 17. For the graduate students, for the teachers po ito, old enrollees is on June 14. Although yung pong babagong papasok, pwede na rin po namang mag-enroll. Yung babagong mag-take uh, ng graduate studies nila. And for the other scholarship grants, ah, okay, ito muna po. We also offer graduate school program, Master of Arts in Education, Thesis and Non-Thesis, Majors in Educational Management, Elementary, Preschool Education, English, Mathematics, Science, Filipino, TLE, Social Studies, and MAPE Teaching. Meron din pong Master in Business Administration, and Master in Public Administration. For freshman undergraduate students, the first set of 100 enrollees, all courses po ito. Actually, may, pa, may mga nag-enroll na pong nauna sa inyo, yung aming unang pinag-contact ng career guidance. They shall be given additional discount from the Alumni Association and for other uh, scholarship grants or incentives, this will be elaborated by Sir Patrick Sanchez and Engineer Ray Di Mayakya. Sa 11,000 expenses, my dear students, na dati po ay 23,000 per semester, with the, with the additional incentives, you will pay less and can be paid on an installment basis. Bali divided by five po. So, I'll not elaborate on this kasi your teacher's commitment, dedication, and productivity in their uh, teaching profession is approved already that if you are a teacher, you are models of positive values and professionalism. Besides, my dear students, if you are a teacher, you can expect prestige even if we are in this 21st century learning na po. So, with this, I welcome you all to the CTE department with an open arms along with the faculty members. Rest assured, you are in good hands. Marami po akong nakikita ng nag-chat-chat nag ng mga teachers na dati ay pumasok. God bless all of you. Thank you po. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Lisanta, for giving our students ideas of what the College of Teacher Education is. So in order for us to better understand the next department, which is the College of Business Administration, so allow me to uh, play this quick video.
College of Business Administration aims to provide excellent preparation for graduates to become great leaders, supervisors, and managers of public and private organizations and successful managers of their own business. College of Business Administration prepares students to become successful business executives and entrepreneurs, hence prepare them for developing progressive economy. College of Business Administration envisions a college whose graduates are competent and globally competitive in the field of business. Okay, and uh, to tell us more about the College of Business Administration is the Dean of the Department, Doc, uh, Ma'am Lolit Achenza. Okay, uh, maraming salamat, Patrick. Good morning po sa ating principal and faculty members. And of course, uh, sa ating mga senior high school students. So, uh, I'm the Dean of the Business Administration at Golden Gate Cottages. I am one in welcoming you to be part of our Golden Gate family, especially the College of Business Administration. So at Golden Gate, we offer College of Business Administration with three major areas. We have one is marketing. So marketing, it is uh, really a part of uh, business, no? So successful businessmen are those people who are in the marketing areas. So we have these examples of business establishments. The most common, we have the SM department store, Robinson, etc. So many of our graduates are already successful employees and managers of these uh, different business organizations. And then we have the next one is financial management. So uh, class, under this financial management, you'll be uh, specializing in the area of finances. So you are familiar with banks, with investment companies, lending institutions, etc. So dito, inaaral yung kung paano lalago yung ating pera, capital. And we have uh, so many graduates who are already successful in this area. Madami na kaming graduates na mga bank managers, no? Mga managers at mga executives ng iba't ibang mga financial institutions. So this is a good uh, course in a college life, no? And the other one is human resource management. So the class ng uh, establishments, so yan man ay private or government, dapat mayroon naghahandle ng tao. Hiring, developing these people, yan ang trabaho ng graduate na human resource management. At talagang in demand siya. Kahit sa ang uh, area, sa gobyerno, sa private, kailangan ang mga graduates ng human resource management. 
not only to hire, but to develop them to become leaders. So those are the three areas at Golden Gate Colleges. The next uh, thing is, so can you enroll at Golden Gate? So meron kaming uh, tina, tumatanggap kami ng enrollment through online or walk-in. So kapag walk-in, punta lang kayo sa school, Golden Gate Colleges, which is located in the heart of Batanga City, nasa Piprieto Street siya. Katabi ng aming Golden Gate Hospital. So pagpunta niyo ng Golden Gate, you will be accommodated by our kind personnel at saka sa aming office, sa office of the dean. Lagi kaming nandun sa office. So, pwede kayong mag-enroll personally. Then, kung medyo malayo kayo o hindi kayo makalabas, you can do it online. So, punta lang kayo dun sa aming page. Makikita nyo dun kung paano kayo mag-enroll online. Ang payment, hindi problema. Kasi meron kaming partner bank kung saan kayo pwede mag-deposit ng inyong tuition fee. It is the BDO. So yan, dalawang uh, methods kung paano kayo pwede mag-enroll sa Golden Gate. And, the, and the, uh, the best thing is, ang aming uh, tuition ng uh, first year ay napakababa. So uh, pinag-aralan niya ng management Dahil nga pandemic, mahirap yung uh, pera. Problema ang financial requirements sa pagpapaaral, pero gusto naman natin makapag-aral kayo. Gusto naman magulang nyo. So from 22,000 na aming tuition fee, ginawa na lang yan ng management na 10,000 pesos sa College of Business Administration. So napakalaking baba. No? Kayang-kaya nyo na yan. At pwede pa siyang bayaran on installment basis. Pwede sabihin, pag nag-enroll ka, 20% or one-fifth, 2,000. Then the rest, tuwing may exam lang, 2,000. At kung kayo ay makasama pa dun sa early bird, yung nag-enroll na first 100 na first year, may additional discount pa rin kayo na isang libo. So, siyem na libo na lang ang babayaran nyo. Total na yon sa isang semester. So, yun ang magandang uh, in-offer namin sa Golden Gate Colleges. Then, why should you take business administration? So, we have competent faculty members to train you para maging successful kayo in the field of business. So, unang-una, we are offering gainful employment. So, pag sinabi natin gainful employment, ito sabihin, ito yung trabaho na ang sweldo ay mataas, akma sa inyong pinag-aralan. Hindi yung... Uh, for your course graduate ka, tapos ang liit ng sweldo mo. So, gainful employment, sulit ang yung mga aginastos, no? After na maging employee kayo kay sa bangko, sa mga government offices, etc. And then, teaching. Pwede din tayong magturo. Ako personally, is a certified public accountant. Nagtaral ako ng business administration, pero ako ay nasa academy, No? And I'm proud to say na ako ay product or alumnus ng Golden Gate Colleges. So I stayed there for so long, then I transferred to other, other than government agency. And then lately, I was hired again by Golden Gate Colleges to be part of the Golden Gate family. So teaching, no? yung mga major subjects niya nang nagtuturo, I graduate ng business ad. Another thing is having your own business. So ito yung isa sa pinakamalaking kitaan ngayon. Pag ikaw ay nag-venture sa negosyo. So kung may mga kilala kayong mga negosyante, hindi naman sila graduate ng business administration, sila ay kumikita ng malaki, successful sila sa negosyo. So how much more kung kayo ay graduate ng four-year course ng business ad? Ang laki ng advantage nyo. May enjoy nyo yung sinasabi natin na time freedom at financial freedom. So time freedom in the sense na hindi kayo 8 to uh, 5 ang trabaho. Kayo ang pipili ng oras nyo at your, convenient, at your convenience. So time freedom yon. Malaki ang kita mo pero hindi ka nakatali sa 8 to 5. Then financial freedom. So sinabi ko kanina, malaki ang kitaan sa negosyo. 
So, meron kayo, kayo dyan financial freedom. Since malaki ang kita, so, financially, maluwag kayo, no? So, yung class ang pinaka mga importante ng uh, job opportunities when you finish business administration. So, at this point in time, I am inviting you to be part of the Golden Gate family, especially sa CBA. And in case you have some questions, later mayroon tayong open forum. So, yon, May time kayong magtanong doon para mag-clarify sa inyo yung mga questions in mind ninyo. So, advance congratulations in your graduation and see you at Golden Gate Calibes. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Dean Lolly. So, this time, allow me to play a quick video of um, uh, which gives you the highlights of the College of Engineering and Technology. We found out that taking up engineering course at Golden Gate Colleges is challenging and at the same time exciting. Instructors do not just teach, but inspire us to love problem solving, which equip us in this today's constant changing world. Their patience and determination for us to learn make us realize that we are on the right path. That this course is a promising career. Why engineering and why at GTC? Well, among different courses, engineering is classic, never left behind. A lot of new courses come and go, but Engineering keeps on standing still. Here at Golden Gate Colleges, we have facilities where you can start your journey as an IT. Do you want to be ahead and better than the others when it comes to career in technology? BSIT is the key. Golden Gate Colleges produces world-class engineers known for excellence in science and technology for its commitment to holistic development of everybody through relevant programs and even community involvement. Here at Golden Gate Colleges, we walk what we talk, we live what we believe. As what College of Engineering and Technology vision states. Time, I'll be turning you over to the Dean of the College of Engineering and Technology, Engineer Ray Di Mayakya. Magandang uh, umaga po sa ating lahat. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank the uh, principal and the teachers of the San Pascual uh, Senior High School uh, for giving us opportunity to uh, conduct career orientation to your uh, senior high students. Uh, here at Golden Gate Colleges, the College of Engineering and Technology, I've started uh, way back 1976. And uh, with that uh, 45 years, we have produced thousands of successful graduates in the fields of engineering. Majority of our graduates have worked or nakapag, uh, or nagtatrabaho ngayon sa abroad, ano? Uh, meaning, uh, ma napakalaki po ng chance natin na makapag uh, trabaho sa ibang bansa uh, dahil nga maganda yung job opportunity and abroad for graduate of engineering and technology. Uh, dito naman po sa atin, ano, uh, we have a lot of uh, industry uh, power plants ano, uh, mula po dito sa Batangas City area. So hanggang dun po sa uh, area natin sa Pascual, Bawan, Mabini. Ano. So may kita nyo doon along the Batangas Bay, 
Napakadaming pong industry, ano? Dito na lang sa San Pascual. So sa Kaip uh, Industrial Park po, yun ang tinatawag natin dati Coco Chem, ay uh, maraming mga industry na doon, ano? At yan natin po sa Bawan. So ganoon din po sa Balayan Bay, napakadaming po natin industry na locate doon. Kung pupunta po kayo sa Lima, which is the boundary of Tripa City and Malbar, meron po tayong hundreds of uh, industry located at Lima uh, Industrial Park, ano? So we have also a lot of industrial zones sa Tanawan City and Santo Tomas City, you know? So uh, ito po ay ibig sabihin nito ay kung gagawa tayo ng kursong engineering and technology, uh, wala tayong problema. We, we talk about uh, job opportunity at hindi na kayo lalayo pa at uh, makakakita na agad kayo ng magandang work dito sa Batangas, you know? And then, uh, ano pong position na pwedeng pasukan ng isang graduate ng engineering? So, pwede po kayong pumasok umpisa po uh, as a junior engineer. Then, uh, kung maganda pong performance, you will be promoted after one or two years to be a senior engineer. Uh, later, you can become a supervisor, department manager, and uh, pag sinaswerte tayo, you can become the general manager of uh, the different organization ano, uh, which is related to industry. So, lahat po yan ay uh, uh, trabaho ng isang graduate ng engineering. At makapansin nyo yung mga company dito sa Batangas ay lahat po ayan ay pinatatakbo ng mga graduate ng engineering. Okay, so ano naman po mga department o pwedeng maging work na isang engineer? Ano? Pwede po kayo sa research and development. So ito po ang pag, uh, pag-develop ng bagong produkto and improving a new, uh, another, uh, old products. Ano? You can also work in the design. Ano? At sa production, pag sinabi production, ito po yung uh, process of how you can transform raw materials into finished product. We need also to maintain machines, so papasok po doon yung maintenance. Uh, uh, engineer din po, ano, papatakbo ng quality control department para siguro doon maganda po yung uh, finished product natin. And of course, we have to protect ourselves, our co-employees in the facilities of the company. Dito po papasok yung mga safety engineer. Uh, mahigpit po ang ugobyan natin regarding pollution. Ano? So, meron po tayo mga pollution control engineer for that. Ano? And pwede rin pong pumasok ang isang graduate ng engineering sa so sales and marketing. Ano? Kasi they have the knowledge regarding uh, the different specification of product or services that I, that uh, the company are for, uh, being offered to their customer or client. Ano? Now, sa Golden Gate po, meron po kaming apat na program. Lahat po ito ay apat na taong kurso. No? Meron po kaming Bachelor of Science and Chemical Engineering, uh, Mechanical and Electrical Engineering, and also Bachelor of Science and in Information Technology. So, mas worthy po kayo ngayon dahil uh, apat na taon na lang po yung engineering. Unlike before, limang taon po yung engineering. So, ito pong engineering na ito na ino-offer ng Golden Gate ay uh, ito po yung kailangan ng industry. Uh, ito pong tatlong ito hindi pa pwede mawala sa industry. Yan na lang po sa San Pascual, ano? sa Kaip, nandito po lahat yung, mga, yung tatlong program na yan. So, kailangan po rin natin ang automation sa isang uh, process to doon papasok po yung information uh, technology. Now, medyo hirap talaga ang buhay natin ngayon. So, nakikita natin na uh, maliit ang pagkita. So yun, meron pong binibigay sa inyong Golden Gate. Yung top uh, pipe po ay uh, 100 pesos lang yung babayaran nyo just to uh, ikangang makapag-open lang o ma-activate yung account nyo. Ano? Ang engineering po dati sa Golden Gate ay 30,000. Ngayon po ay mahigit pang kalahati na bawas. It is already 14,000. So malaking tulong po yun. And then meron pa mga ibang uh, program na offer na, ino, na pwede ma makuha nyo to as a financial assistance sa Golden Gate, ay paliliwanag no, uh, ni uh, Sir Patrick. Ano? Then meron po kami, no, wala na rin po yung entrance exam, na deferred na po yun, ano? So uh, from this, ano, may kita natin na medyo talagang problema tayo. So hopefully, you know, let's hope and, and also pray na after one or two years, ay mag, mabalik na rin tayo sa normal. At ang una po siguro magiging priority ng video natin ay uh, ma-develop, ma maka, ika nga, maibangon yung ekonomiya natin. Dito papasok po yung industry. And you as a future engineer will play a big role in this uh, in this economic recovery. So with that, uh, I invite you to uh, come here at Golden Gate Colleges, enroll, 
and we will develop you to be a successful engineer. That's all. Uh, thank you and stay safe. Okay, thank you very much, Engineer Ray, for giving our students ideas of the College of Engineering. So, before I turn you over to the college, uh, Dean of the College of Nursing and Caregiving, so allow me to play a quick video of what the college is. an environment of excellence, relevance, and academic freedom found in recognition values, the College of Nursing and Caregiving accepts as part of responsibility the development of competent and productive nurses and caregivers who would practice the profession for the service of men and community. Excellent and competitive nurses and caregivers responsive to the demands and needs of the dynamically changing society. Their creative and useful members of the profession committed to the development of local, national, and global communities. Maintain efficiency and effectiveness for quality educational system. Commit themselves to our research activity for a better quality of life. The GGC College of Nursing and Caregiving envisions to be the center of higher learning towards sustainable development of allied health programs. So this time, I'll be turning you over to the Dean of the College of Nursing Department, in, uh, Dr. Alan Dimaan. Okay, uh, a pleasant morning to everyone, especially to Dr. Maureen De Claro, the school principal, and to Ma'am Mary Chris Pumilla, the senior high school coordinator, parents, students, significant others. Isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. So I will be presenting to you the key features of the College of Nursing and Caregiving and, and several uh, job opportunities that await to caregivers and even to nurses. So perhaps marami sa inyo ay familiar kung ano ang ginagawa ng mga nurses. So ilan lang sa mga nandito sa ating slides ng mga gawain mga nurses katulad ng magbigay ng gamot, okay, assessing the client's condition like kumukuha ng mga vital signs or blood pressure, temperature, pulse rate, and then communicating with the doctors and other healthcare professionals. Next slide. Also, tayo bilang mga nurses ay napoprovide ng mga emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual support sa ating mga pasyente, hindi lamang sa individual patient, but to the family and the community as well. We are the one that educate them, particularly kung paano nila gagawin ang mga home management na ibinibigay sa kanila ng mga doktor. At tayo rin ang nag-a-assist sa mga pasyente to recover from illness by working in rehabilitation centers together with the physical therapies and the occupational therapies. Marami sa mga nurses ay makikita natin sa mga hospital simply because marami ang areas sa hospital na pwedeng pagdalhat or pagpilian ng mga nurses. At ilan sa mga areas ng, ng hospital where we can work as nurses are the following. Pwede tayo sa labor and delivery room para sa mga anak, ano? sa operating room and post anesthesia unit to uh, assist the patient or the surgeon rather in performing may, uh, minor and ma major operations. Pwede rin tayo sa emergency room. 
next is life. Pwede rin tayo sa neonatal intensive care unit, sa hemodialysis section, at sa mga diagnostic centers. Na? Like mga endoscopy o kaya MRI. And then also, syempre, kailangan ng mga nurses sa mga adult and pediatric medical surgical ward. Even sa outpatient department at sa, sa intensive care unit. So, these are some of the uh, areas in the hospital kung saan makikita ang mga nurses. But alam niyo ba na aside from the hospital, nurses can be seen in the following areas or through the following career opportunities that await us. They could be working as community health nurse. Ano, tayo yung mga nang nasa barangay, nasa rural health unit, nagbabahay-bahay, nagbabakuna, nagtitimbag ng mga pasyente, nangangalaga ng mga buntis at kung sino-sino pang mga tao sa community. We could be working as geriatric nurse, providing health care to uh, older patients. We could be working in the school as a school nurse, providing health education and health interventions sa mga estudyante at sa mga guro na nandoon sa isang uh, paaralan. Next slide. Next slide. <clears throat> okay. So aside from being a school nurse and geriatric nurse, we could be working as pediatric nurse. Ano? So hindi lang siguro nag nagano yung ating kung PowerPoint presentation. Next slide, please. So, we could be working as pediatric nurse. Pwede rin tayong maging ambulance nurse or pwede rin tayong maging flight nurse. So, ilan lang yan sa mga career opportunities na naghihintay sa atin. At pwede rin tayong magtrabaho bilang ambulance nurse o kaya ay sa mga uh, company nurse or pwede rin tayong magturo in classroom or even in hospital setting. So ilan lang yan sa mga uh, areas kung saan makikita natin ang mga nurses. No? So medyo nawala po yung ating PowerPoint presentation but I still continue. No? So I have mentioned earlier kung ano yung mga areas ng hospital and even ano yung mga career opportunities that await us as nurses. No? So ngayon bakit mamaganda ang mm, kumuha ng nursing as a profession? Una ang nursing ay mayroong mas magandang sahod compare sa ibang uh, work. Ano? Katulad na yung bawa ng magkatrabaho ka sa fast food o kaya ay magkatrabaho ka sa mga ilang kawani ng pamahalaan or mga private institutions. So compared to them, is talagang malaki ang sahod ng mga nurses. Particularly if given the chance na ikaw ay makapunta sa abroad. At dahil malaki ang iyong opportunities or better salary, Meron tayo din kasama tiyan ang job security, lalo na ngayon. Ano? Sa panahon ngayon na pandemic, marami ang nawawala ng trabaho, pero makita natin ang mga nurses, marami pa rin ang opportunities na naghihintay sa kanila sa mga panahong ito. At in fact, kaliwa at kanan, harap at likod pa ang mga opportunities na naghihintay sa kanila. No? So meron tayong self-satisfaction and career advancement kasi nga, uh, meron tayong job security. No? Pwede tayong makagtrabaho, magliwaliw, uh, maglaro ano, at magpahinga sa iba't ibang bansa kung nanaisin natin. At meron tayong flexible working schedule. We can be working at night and then sa araw pwede natin gawin yung ibang mga gawain katulad ng pag, uh, pagpunta sa mga kawani or different uh, offices ng government. Ano? Tayo ay respected and honored and trusted profession. And another thing is tayo ay mas involved. Ano? Or uh, involved kasi uh, hawak natin ang buhay ng mga Tao. No, dahil doon na ngayong panahon ito na ang, ang laban sa pandemic ay nandyan. No? So maraming tao ang gumagaling at nagtatagumpay sa laban ng pandemic at isa sa kanilang pinasasalamatan at parte ng kanilang tagumpay ay ang pagkakaroon ng nurses. No? So ano bang magandang opportunities na mayroon sa Golden Gate Colleges gaya ng napanood ninyo sa video kanina? No? So ang, nurse, ang Golden Gate Colleges College of Nursing ay isa sa pinakamatanda or pinakamatagal ng institution ng nursing education sa Batangas Province. At dahil diyan, uh, thousands of registered nurses na na-produce na nagkatrabaho internationally and even locally. At dahil din dyan, no, isa pang magandang balita ay ang Golden Gate Colleges ay mayroong sariling hospital kung saan ang mga graduates ng nurses or nursing or caregiving ay binibigyan agad ng trabaho ng hospital. So hindi ka na may hirapang maghanap pa pagkatapos mo makagraduate kasi automatic, bibigyan ka na ng trabaho ng Golden Gate 
uh, hospital ng opportunity na makapagtrabaho sa nila. At ang isa pa, sa maliit na halaga lamang, gaya ng nakita ninyo sa video, in as low as 16,000 sa isang semester, pwede ka nang mag-enroll ng College of Nursing. Kaya yun ang sabi ko nga sa aking mga estudyante ngayon at mga nagdaan ko pang estudyante na nag-aaral sa Golden Gate, ang pag-aaral ng nursing, hindi mo kailangan mag-invest ng napakamahal o napakalaking pera. Kasi sa totoo, pag ikaw ay nurse, ay ang mahalaga, ikaw ay makapasa sa board examination. At yan naman ay isa sa mga uh, naisasakato para ng Golden Gate Colleges no? bilang isang institution ng College of Nursing even sa mahalagang halaga lamang ng school fees ay nakakapag-provide kami at naka, nakakapag-provide kami ng mga uh, estudyante or nurses na nagiging matagumpay sa kanilang profession. Okay? At ang huli kong sasabihin para sa mga uh, senior high school graduate dito uh, na in case ayaw niyong mag-aral mag ng college, meron ang College of Nursing and Caregiving na program ng caregiving program. Ang caregiving program ay Uh, pitong ban lang sa halagang 23,000 pwede ka nang mag-enroll yun na yung lahat ng babayaran and after 7 months pwede ka nang mag uh, kumuha ng examination provided ng TESDA and pagkatapos ay pwede ka na ring uh, mag-work abroad no so yan yan lang po yung uh, mayroon na key features ang Golden Gate College College of Nursing. So I hope I will be able to give you some insights ano, na ano ba ang mga gawain ng mga nurses, ano yung mga career opportunities na kiintay, ano ang dahilan bakit magandang kumuha ng nursing at lalong maganda is bakit magandang mag-nursing sa Golden Gate Colleges. Gaya na sabi ko sa inyo kanina, uh, the, Golden College, the Golden Gate Colleges is helping the youth ano, or mga kabataan to achieve their dreams. Even doon sa mababang halaga lamang. So hindi again gaya ng sabi ko rin, hindi natin kailangan mag-invest ng malaking halaga para sa education, no? Ang mahalaga ay meron tayong matapos, ang mahalaga ay tayo ay makapasa sa mga board examinations and after that the rest will follow. So yun lamang po sa sa ating pong principal kay Dr. Declaro, sa ating pong senior high school coordinator kay Ma'am Kumia students, significant others, and parents. Muli isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Um, okay, so uh, allow me to continue kasi hindi ko po alam kung nandito pa rin si Sir Patrick sa ating, ano, baka po na, biglang nagkaroon ng problem with the uh, internet connection. So at this juncture ay pupunta po tayo sa Uh, open forum kung may mga katanungan po ang ating mga estudyante, uh, mag uh, teachers, and even yung mga interested na mag-aaral sa Golden Gate Colleges, mayroon po tayong, ito na po yung portion na pwede po kayong magtanong. Ako po ba'y naririnig nyo? Just, just checking din po. Yes po, Doc. Um, so, again po, according to Doc, um, sa ating mga students, if you will have questions, pwede po natin itong i-address sa ating mga teacher in charge or you may chat directly in our chat box. Okay. Para po so, ma-address at maitanong natin sa ating mga speakers. Ayan. So, nag-represent. Uh, sige po. Uh, uh, engineer, kaya na po ba mag-discuss? <laughs> So, engineer, uh, pasensya na po kasi si Sir Patrick siguro ay nawala ng internet connection. So, engineer Ray Dumayakiyak is presenting uh, our simple uh, presenting question. So, I think he will be the one to continue. Ito po si engineer Ray. Okay. At Alan, okay ba? Nadidinig ba ako? Sir, hindi po hindi na kayo na po mag-present. So, uh, uh, kanina nabanggit na naman ni uh, Ma'am kung kailan start ang enrollment namin, ano? So, uh, ongoing na po yung enrollment sa Golden Gate Colleges. Okay, hello po. Excuse po. Um, uh, may we request po our participants to so please turn off your mic para po mas clear yung discussion ng ating mga speakers. Thank you po. 
Okay, thank you. So, uh, kanina po, nabanggit na rin na wala kaming entrance exam dahil nga may pandemic situation, ano? Then, uh, we have also, uh, wala din po kaming bridging program, ano? Kaya, <coughs> kung ano mang strand ang kinukuha nyo ngayon, pwede kumuha kayo kung ano mang program na ino-offer sa Golden Gate. Now, uh, <coughs> kanina na-mention pa na, na kung kayo kasama sa top 5, ay uh, wala kayong ba... Kayaan pakatipid po uh, para makatulong din sa sitwasyon ngayon, ano? So uh, 100 pesos lang po yon at tuloy-tuloy po ang inyong uh, scholarship for the next semester. Now, kung hindi naman po napasama kayo sa top five ng graduating, uh, ano pong pwedeng makuha naman ninyo, ano? So, so meron po kami mga entry discount uh, by department. So ito po 'yon kung uh, di, kung uh, College of Business Admin ano meron po kami 22,000 dati ngayon ay 10,000 na lang. So kanina na mention din kung merong ma, ma, makaka-enroll kayo agad so meron pa kayong 1,000 discount galing sa aming alumni. So magiging uh, uh, 9,000 lang. Sa teacher education 11,000 sa Engineering po, 14,000 lang. And then sa nursing, no, alam na po naman natin, napakamahal. Dati 36,000. Now we are giving it only at 16,000. Ito po ay all in na. So yun lang po talaga ang babayaran nyo kapag pumasok kayo sa Golden Gate. And then uh, installment pa rin po yung pagbabayad natin. Ano? Kasi medyo hirap nga tayo sa pagkita. No? So didivide lang natin ng 5. Yung na-mention ko kanina ng mga figure, yun po ang magiging down payment nyo. Ano? And then sa loob ng apat na buwan, you have to pay the remaining, uh, the balance ano, equally. So makikita po nyo dito sa table kung ano pong magiging down payment at yung babayaran nyo from prelim hanggang final uh, na regarding kung ano mang department ang uh, kukunin nyo uh, program sa Golden Gate Colleges. Then yung uh, entry scholarship po nyo, ay pwede nyo uh, gamit pa ulit sa sa second semester provided na kailangan po ay lahat ng subject ay kukunin niyo sa Golden Gate ano so uh, wala pa tayong iwanan so kung ano po na sa prospectus you have to take all of them ano at pagkatapos po ng semester dapat po hindi kayo magkaroon ng grade na drop o incomplete ano otherwise uh, hindi niyo uh, ma-avail yung aming uh, program para sa second semester ano and of course, alam na, na po kung magkakaroon kayo ng failing grade, so mawawala na po yung program na yan. Now, kung sa second and third and fourth year, nag-offer naman po kami ng academic scholar, ano? So yun, so, pwede naman yung ituloy-tuloy yun, but depende na rin po yan sa inyo, ano? Kung magiging maganda yung performance nyo, ay tuloy-tuloy pong ma-avail natin yung scholarship na yan. And then, ah, uh, Sa Golden Gate po ay uh, open po kami dun sa tinatawag na multiple scholarship. Ano? So uh, maliit na po yung tuition po yung babayaran nyo but if you can still uh, uh, have some scholarship or financial assistance, ano? kagaya po sa ating uh, dito sa Pasquale, ano? kay uh, Congressman uh, Rani Albo, ano? meron po siyang binibigay na uh, financial assistance, ano? yung tulong dunong program under CHED. So uh, kung, uh, kung mag-enroll kayo sa Golden Gate, we have the form para pilapan nyo lang yun. And then uh, after that, punta lang kayo kay uh, congressman and then ask for an endorsement and then we will forward that to chat. Ano? Para makapag-enjoy kayo ng 5 hanggang 10,000 uh, financial assistance ano? hanggang makagraduate kayo noon. Okay, uh, yun. Yung pong 1,000 na galing sa aming alumni ay kung sino pong maunang mag enroll Kaya kung... Uh, Decido kayong bumakas sa Golden Gate as soon as possible, mag-enroll na kayo so that you can enjoy that 1,000 financial assistance from our alumni association. So, uh, yan lang po ang aming mga <coughs> uh, program na of uh, financial assistance na offer sa Golden Gate at kung may may bang tanong kayo, uh, dito pa naman kami and we're willing to uh, answer your inquiries.
Ma'am uh, SP, si uh, Emmy ba nandito? Nasa GGC po siya. Hindi ko lang alam po kung nakapasok din dahil parang nag-brown out din. Uh, so ma'am, kayo na lang po ang mag-closing uh, na lang kung wala na sila mga tanong. So teachers, senior high school students, meron pa po ba kayong tanong regarding our offerings? Pasensya na po na wala ng konti at nag-brown out. Hagiya na nakapasok ulit. So, if you don't have questions anymore, students, teachers, Ma'am Declaro, thank you po. Ma'am Crescomilla, we really appreciate you, San Pascual Senior High School 1, for accepting our uh, our invitation to conduct career guidance with your students. Rest assured, if ever, we welcome you all to Golden Gate Colleges and you are in good hands. Thank you so much. Keep safe po tayong lahat. Okay po, thank you once again po sa ating mga representatives from Golden Gate Colleges, Batangas. So at this point po, uh, to our participants, may we request again pa, na paki open po ng ating camera for an op uh, photo opportunity with our representatives from GGC Batangas. Okay po? Okay po. Hello, Mama Rebel. Merry Chris. Good morning po, ma'am. Okay, naka-open na po ba lahat? Okay po. So, in a count of three, give your best smile. In three, two, one, smile. Okay. Para po sa ating uno sign. In three, Two, one, smile. Okay po. Again, thank you po sa ating mga representatives. And for the awarding of Certificate of Appreciation, may I call on Miss Grace Ilagan, Teacher 3 of San Pascual Senior High School 1. Thank you, Sir Will. Okay. These Certificates of Appreciation is awarded to the following. Dr. Esperanza B. Lusanta. Miss Lolita Atienza, Dr. Alan O. Dimaano, Engineer Reynaldo Dimayakyak, in grateful acknowledgement of their expertise as resource person during the SPSHS1 virtual career guidance orientation for grade 12 learners on curriculum exits with a the theme guiding learners to a sound career choice in the new normal conducted by San Pascual Senior High School 1 on June 2, 2021. Given the second day of June 2021 via Google Meet, signed by our principal, Maureen C. DeClaro. Okay, well, thank you once again to our representatives from Golden Gate Colleges, Batangas. Thank you, Rinpo. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay po, so uh, to formally end this session, may I call on Dr. Maribel M. Sikat, Faculty Vice President, for her closing remarks. Uh, a pleasant morning, everyone. Okay po sa ang aking audio. Okay po. Okay po. A pleasant morning once again. Together, we have transcended through the pandemic and reached another milestone with the success of this career orientation program spearheaded by our guidance coordinator, Ma Mary Chris Kumiya, along with the subgroup guidance advocates, advisors, teachers, our master teacher, Tuma Maria Muriel, Menza de Rojas, and the incomitable support of our principal, to Dr. Maureen C. Declaro. 
On behalf of San Pascual Senior High School 1 staff and personnel, we would like to extend our sincerest gratitude to our seasoned and competent speakers. Certainly, your words have contributed to enlightening the minds of our students in choosing the right career for them and setting their goals that will help shape their future. Likewise, this endeavor will not be successful without the cooperation and active participation of the grade 12 students and the loving support of their parents. Dear students, we hope that through the different talks and presentations made by various schools, private institutions, and speakers that we have invited, you'll be able to make one of the most crucial decisions in your life, choosing your career. Go the extra mile, our dear students. Be prudent, but do not be afraid to take the risks because the real essence of learning comes with change. Thank you, everyone. Okay po, thank you po, Doc Mabel, for that uh, message. So at this point, this month-long virtual career guidance orientation has just ended. To our grade 12 students, I hope San Pascual Senior High School 1, in partnership with various private sector, LGU, non-government organization, and different colleges and universities who grace their time and invaluable knowledge, help you to gain a sound career choice as you exit in your senior high school journey. I know that wherever you will be, you will dream big, do great, and soar high as you engage yourself to the actual world. Once again, thank you very much, and may God bless us all.